I have no clue why I'm tired. I get enough sleep, I get about 10 to 12 hours of sleep and I still end up waking up tired. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Jurassic World Dominion video. In today's video, we're discussing top 5 reasons why you should be excited for the new installment in the Jurassic era, the end of the Jurassic era. But obviously before we get into the video, do consider subscribing and pressing the like button if you do happen to enjoy this video. The Jurassic World Dominion trailer is in fact here and it's public for everybody to go and view. I believe it has something like 40 million views in the space of a week on one video alone. But yes, the Dominion trailers here reveals so, so much and just everything about it is just awesome. I think even for a standard viewer, they were mesmerized by that trailer. And if you happen to miss it, I actually did a really big breakdown video that took me 12 hours to make regarding that trailer. There were loads of details, Easter eggs that you may have missed. So if you want that little bit more in-depth information, feel free to go over and check out that video. But for today's video, we're discussing five reasons why you should be excited for Jurassic World Dominion. And starting with the first one, it would be new species specifically 12 new species coming to Jurassic World Dominion that have never been shown before in the Jurassic franchise. Now obviously some of these species were showcased throughout the Jurassic World Dominion prologue, whether this is Moros, Iguanodon, Quetzalcoatlus, Dreadnoughtus, Giganotosaurus and also Oviraptor. But yes, with the addition of 12 new species in Jurassic World Dominion and 30 total species across the globe, which is what we'll be discussing next, pretty much proves that this movie is going to be absolutely jam-packed with incredible amounts of action. Now some people may be questioning why are all of these new dinosaurs appearing, where are they appearing from? Well if you remember from the end of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, a lot of embryos and DNA sequences were actually shipped across the US, but also at the end of that trailer you can see a few international flights that were shipping live specimens. These specimens contained the Baryonyx, Allosaurus and loads of unknown creatures that we don't really know of. So not only are we getting 12 confirmed new species in Jurassic World Dominion, we can also suspect that there could be any sort of species appearing that are still yet to be confirmed. So if you are excited for dinosaur species and that's the main thing why you watch the Jurassic franchise, get ready because there will be plenty and plenty of new dinosaurs in Jurassic World Dominion. And as I did say previously, dinosaurs are all across the globe now, they are everywhere. In the trailer we saw Malta, America and probably many many other places that we're still yet to identify. The ones we can identify is definitely America and also Malta. And in Malta we got a few scenes regarding the Atrociraptors, Allosaurus and also the Carnotaurus. But what was intriguing is that the Allosaurus and Carnotaurus appeared out of nowhere and they didn't really seem to be battling for territorial grounds. So something else could be going on with those two large theropod carnivores. Because honestly speaking, it seems like they've broken out from somewhere. Being in the city centre of Malta, it's kind of weird for a dinosaur to just be there. But with the addition of dinosaurs being spread across the globe comes the new expanded universe for Jurassic. As we know, the expanded universe began in 2019 when we got Jurassic World Battle of Big Rock, followed by Camp Cretaceous releasing in 2020, which kind of told the story between 2015's Jurassic World all the way through to 2016, just after Fallen Kingdom's prologue. And then obviously we got the whole Jurassic World prologue as well, which kind of expanded the story. But since dinosaurs are across the globe now, it's more than inevitable that random people will come across these dinosaurs like we got in Battle at Big Rock. And with that comes more stories from other people, which means that we could get live action shows, animated shows or even short films again. So yes, the reason number two would be the expanded universe and multiple dinosaurs across the globe. Now comes number three, which I am saving to do a video on for quite some time now, but Biosyn is appearing in Jurassic World Dominion. If you're not aware of Biosyn, they were basically rivals with InGen throughout 1993, and if you remember the man who gave the money to Dennis Nedry who sabotaged Jurassic Park, he's called Lewis Dodgson, which will be appearing in Jurassic World Dominion. Obviously, a different actor, because the original actor did some unspeakable things. But yes, since Biosyn and Dodgson are returning in Jurassic World Dominion, it's intriguing to see where that storyline's gonna go. We haven't heard anything about this company since 1993, so they could be doing all sorts, who knows. But because of the mystery that we had for Biosyn through all of these years, that's kind of intriguing me a little bit more to see what they've been up to, how did Dodgson get into the position of CEO for the company, and why exactly are they important for Jurassic World Dominion? Either way, reason number three would be finding out who Biosyn really are. Number four would be the end of a story. The end of the Jurassic era, as the trailer says. You know, so, so many people have been saying, oh, this is the last movie, but it's not the last movie. Jurassic World 4, let's say, has actually been confirmed. Frank Marshall, the producer of Jurassic World, has mentioned numerous amounts of times that Jurassic World 4 will be happening. Whether it will be under the Jurassic IP, 
or even call Jurassic World is another question since the Jurassic era seems to be coming to an end. So despite that a Jurassic World 4 is happening and something else to look forward to, probably releasing in 2025 or so, it goes to show that a whole story, a total story from 1993 all the way to 2022 is finally reaching its climax. And that just means that loads of things are going to be nostalgic, there's going to be loads of tie-ins, there's going to be a whole recap of things to say. Because basically we have six movies, two short films, one Jurassic World series with five Five seasons and also a four episode motion comic series as well. So I do in fact believe that all of these stories are going to culminate right at the end for Jurassic World Dominion, which is what I'm most excited about. And this is really just the start of Jurassic World, it really is. The Jurassic era may be ending, but soon comes the Cretaceous era. Maybe. Possibly. But that moves us on to our fifth reason, not final because there's loads of other reasons, but the fifth reason would be more accurate dinosaur species. Now as we mentioned earlier before, Biosyn is going to be a huge new name in Jurassic World, and I do assume that they were probably creating all of these new kind of accurate dinosaurs that haven't been seen before. The Parasaurolophus looks absolutely incredible and brand new and accurate. The Pyroraptor is feathered. The Therizinosaurus is also feathered as well. So it really just goes to show that all of these dinosaurs are becoming and having more accuracy about them than what we saw in the original Jurassic Parks. That does make me wonder if we'll ever see a 3 foot tall Velociraptor rather than a 6 foot tall one. Either way, we've had numerous amounts of accurate dinosaur species already just because of feathers. And the feathered creatures that we've already seen are Oviraptor, the Morus Intrepidus, Pyroraptor, as well as Quetzalcoatlus and Therizinosaurus as well. So it does go to show that they're going down the more accurate route, but that intrigues me, what we will see in Jurassic World 4. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, feel free to press that subscribe button and like the video. But let me know your reason as to why you're excited for Jurassic World Dominion down in the comment section below. But obviously, make sure you're staying safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.